conversations. We are going to get started. Feel free to, if you're, if you're getting a drink or a bite to eat, feel free to wait in line and um, feel free to get up out of your seat during our presentation this evening. If you need to get something, use the restroom. Um, welcome chamber members, award honorees, and guests. I'm Sarah Cullen, executive director for the chamber, and I have the honor of getting things started this evening. <clears throat> we have a number of chamber members who will be up here to share our chamber story, as well as celebrating the individual accomplishments of our chamber members. I hope that you will leave here this evening knowing a little bit more about some of the people who contribute to the growth and prosperity of our community, and I hope that you'll be inspired. First, allow me to make a few introductions. This evening would not be possible without support from several amazing volunteers and service providers. I would like for these folks to stand and be recognized for helping to coordinate the celebration. Ray Iyer, owner of Harrison Mattress, Jamie Mather, business manager for KC Storage Solutions, Cheryl Zinn, chief financial officer for McGoran Insurance, and Shauna Webster, who can't be with us this evening, but she is the owner of Whitewater Weddings and Events, and she graciously donated the use of our centerpieces this evening. So thank you, everyone. I also want to thank the VFW Dual Post team who's always been accommodating to us for a number of events over the years, and we appreciate our partnership. Uh, feel free to stop back tomorrow for a great fish fry. We hope that you'll consider supporting the small businesses we have on hand tonight for catering, photography, and more. I want to call attention to our chamber check-in table near the door where we have invited Jen from Gypsy Wagon Print Company to launch a fundraiser for us this year. So you can purchase your Made in Harrison t-shirt, which will fund a shop local campaign later this year. So Jen can provide you more information with ordering these shirts. They'll be available in more colors and many sizes that you can order for you and your team. If you're a chamber member, you can also stop by the back table and pick up a window decal for your storefront or a certificate that you can display in your office. The Chamber Ambassador Program launched in 2022. Our ambassadors have been meeting regularly to share opportunities and participate in chamber ribbon cuttings and after hours events. They are promoting each other and encouraging growth for the chamber. Several even helped with tonight's event. So I'm going to ask our ambassadors to stand and be recognized. Our first class of amb chamber ambassadors was made up of these individuals. Doris Gibbons, owner of Gibbons Insur Insurance Agency of American Family. Amber Haller, branch manager at West Banco Harrison, who just had a baby, so she's not here tonight. Cindy Wustefeld, branch manager at FCN Bank Harrison. Cheryl Zinn, chief financial officer at McGoran. And Ray Iyer, Harrison Mattress. And then joining the ambassador program for 2023, we have Peter Cook, publisher at Register Publications. Rita, Rita Lusekamp, vice president and sales manager for Sipsy Klein and Harrison. Julie Enderhees, Realtor at Heart for Homes, 513 Realty, and John Fisher, Sales Associate at Car Country. Thank you to the ambassadors for getting involved. We've had a lot of fun having lunch together, and I really appreciate having this cheering section, section for the chamber. So toward the end of this year, we'll look for more friendly faces to be ambassadors for 2024. We're honored to have several elected officials in the audience tonight. Uh, State Representative Cindy Abrams is on her way in, so you'll see her, her here soon. Um, Judge Amy Searcy, feel free to stand or wave. 
and then also uh, City of Harrison staff and elected officials who have been a great partner to the chamber, chamber and several folks from the city are here tonight. Uh, we have Harrison Mayor Bill Nyer, Economic Development Director Shannon Hammonds, Fire Chief Rob Hersong, uh, City Council Representatives Ryan Grubbs, Jerry Wilson, and Lexa Stoll. The, mem the membership of Greater Harrison Chamber is represented by a board of directors. So at this point, the chairman for the board for 2023, Mark Hildebrand, will share with you what he is working on for this year. Well, Sarah said, thank you everyone for coming out tonight. Um, I'm excited to be your chairman as we're marking on our 10 year anniversary of existence. Um, Harris has been my workplace for my entire career. And I'm now with FCN Bank here. And uh, our, my main priority as our chairman for 2023 is to continue our growth. In the last few years, we've really expanded on what we're doing as, a, as an organization. We want to continue that into 2023. Just in 2022, we gained 45 new members. We're right around 200. Membership goes from some of our area's largest businesses, such as JTM, to even small storefronts and nonprofits in the community. Hopefully, we'll meet some of them tonight. 70% of our members are small businesses with fewer than 10 employees, and we take that seriously as an organization to really make sure we're giving back to them and helping them in the best way that we can. And going back to 2022, we coordinated 10 ribbon cuttings. We had four after-hours gatherings and a number of other workshops and events, such as our golf outing, which we hope to see everyone at this year. In partnership with our Southern Ohio Chamber Alliance, we have many cost-saving benefits as well. One main is our Chamber Health Care Plan, which is used by about 50% of our members. Um, it's believed to be the largest small business group health insurance plan in the United States. In between those events and the other things that we offer, we have promotions such as our Highlight Harrison Packet and our newsletter that always has a bunch of information on what's going on in the community. If you want to learn more, stop by our membership table or go to our website, greaterharrisoncc.com. You can also talk to myself or other board members and serving on the board this year. And I'm going to ask our 2023 board members to be recognized at this time. So start with Gary Ellerhorst, who's here. He's the president and CEO of Crown Plastics. Ray Iyer, she's the owner of Harrison Mattress. Spencer Ford, who had to leave. He's the chief operating officer of Conservative Financial Solutions and Harrison Tax Advisors. Joe Moss, co-owner of JTM Food Group. Jamie Mather, business manager, Case Storage. Rob Means, president of Harrison Building and Loan. Ryan Nicely, the owner of Simple Tech LLC, who I don't believe is here tonight. And Jolene Winter, owner and director of Greater Winter Funeral Home. And our newest member, Melissa Henninger, she's with Human Resources at Smithfield Food. She's not able to attend tonight. As we discussed earlier, one of our primary goals is your chambers to continue to add value. We want to make sure that we're putting your dues to good use and you're getting your money's worth. If you have any suggestions, anything that we've been doing that's helped, or anything you'd like to see us do, please feel free to reach out and talk to us. Um, and the last thing we'd like to say is we're going to invite a few people up here to speak, and a few of our founding members that were vital in our organization. We wouldn't be here where we're at today without them. So we're going to invite Doris Gibbons, Hank Manager, and Joe Moss to come on up and share kind of the beginnings of the chamber and how we got to where we're at. Well, thank you. As the saying goes, why these gentlemen come up here, ladies first. <laughs> so um, I'm super excited that we're a decade in to the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce. I think it's fabulous that we're celebrating this tonight. Um, I just want to share some quick memories. One in particular was um, Trisha Moore, Gary Ellenhorst, myself sitting with Jennifer Ikey over lunch, which used to be our economic director, and talking about the possibility of a first time Chamber of Commerce for here in Harrison, which I think was exciting because we were trying to come up with ideas that we thought we could find people that would be interested in doing this. And what felt like no time later, Joe Moss was kind enough to host us, and Joe, Hank, myself, and Jennifer sat down to write our first bylaws. And I think Joe and I would agree that Hank did the heavy lifting, <laughs> for sure, and we appreciate him yeah. so much. Yes. And so I just want to say that I'm thrilled to be involved with the chamber. I'm 
happy that you are all here and that you're involved as well. There's power in numbers, and it's great to be surrounded by people that you really like, but in particular, entrepreneurs that are the same like kind in mind. However, I spit that out. So, Joe, would you like to share some words? Uh, yes, I, <laughs> I suppose I would. Um, I, actually, my biggest recollection, uh, Hank and I share a few common things, one of which is um, we've gained a few years in age, haven't we? So we've, we've experienced a lot. Hank and I also are transplants. So we're, we weren't born and raised in Harrison, but we've been here for God awful number of years. So we feel like that we're born and raised here, but, uh, but Hank and I are also elder grads. So you can, you know, you tell all the wonderful things, but you know, Hank and I experienced over the years, multiple efforts at starting some sort of a business organization that failed, uh, I would say four or five uh, uh, struggling efforts at starting a business organization in the Harrison area. And, and we could just never get it to go, but uh, it's so exciting for me to have, stro have strove to make the organizations work. And unfortunately we did fail a couple of times but it's so exciting to see one that finally it happened 10 years ago when we got together and started the chamber. And we're sitting here today with 150 paying members and an awards bank with, with all we use. I appreciate you taking the time to visit here tonight. It means certainly a lot to me and I'm sure everyone. Hank has a lot. I mean, I, you know, this man actually was the, the driver. He, he certainly put the whole deal together and, I'm very interested to hear Hank's point of view. Well, that is, uh, you may be. A couple hours from now when the rest of you are asleep. <laughs> you know, um, it, it is neat to see a crowd like this. Um, you know, I'm sitting back there at the Elder High School alumni table with Eller Horst and Joe Moss, and we're just kind of, you know, uh, remembering some of the things that, uh, brought all this about. So I took a little time today in the office to kind of make some notes uh, to give you all some perspective on where we've been and hopefully where we're going. On uh, February 13th, 2013, we filed the Articles of Incorporation for the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce. Five days later, our charter was issued and we were up and running. 10 years later, here we are, 150 to 200 strong. By way of background, there was another organization called the Harrison Chamber of Commerce. That was incorporated back in 1955. It amended its charter to change its name to the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce back in 1976, and thereafter it existed on some limited basis. Don't know really what much they did, but their charter was uh, yanked by the Secretary of State uh, on November 3rd, 1997, for failure to file its, its every five year registration. So we go back into the 1990s. There was a recognition among some of the citizens people, some of the citizens and people in the community that we needed to have an organization that would help attract businesses to the community that would bring business to the core area um, and recognizing that need a group incorporated an organization called Main Street Harrison now, some of you that may have been around a while might remember that organization. And its corporate charter, to quote them, was established to promote the resurgence of the small businesses in the area, to attract the general public to the downtown area, and for such other purposes as will promote the general welfare of the area. The initial trustees or directors of that group were Connie Loftus, uh, William George, Sandra Cates, Denise Frazier, 
and Judy Kirchable. Now, you may remember some of those folks. Judy was a long time uh, public servant here in Harrison, having served on city council, he had many family members that served with the Harrison Fire Department. Interestingly enough at that time, they initially had support from the Harrison City Council to the tune of about $25,000 every three years, which they utilized to retain an executive director who did a wonderful job. Um, at some point though, some years later, as we get past the year 2000, the Main Street Harrison group uh, became kind of a political football uh, with the mayor and the members of city council. And at some point, city council decided to pull the funding from the group. Um, there was a, a meeting, a uh, number of the directors uh, talked with the members of council who basically said, hey, we just don't want to fund this anymore. And the president of our group at that time uh, was, the, um, was Don Patterson, who you may remember from Merchants Bank. And Don had to explain to the members of council that, you know, guys, you're not firing us. We're firing you. And the group decided to go dormant. And for three years, we had no group promoting or pushing the downtown businesses or businesses in general in the community. Fast forward a couple of years, um, their charter uh, ended up, um, they dissolved the, the entity in 2010. In 2013, we set up the Harrison Chamber of Commerce. And interestingly enough, when you go back to the old Main Street Harrison group, and I throw those names out to you, many of you will recognize those names. Of course, there was Don Patterson, Brenda Walter, Nick Georgeton, Greg Kathman, who interestingly enough was the economic development director for the city of Fairfield, was a resident here, very active person in the community, and a very big fan of bringing businesses to Harrison. We have our fearless leader tonight, Gary Ellerhorst, was a member of that group. Sue McGuire, who was a teacher for a long time in the Southwest School District. Terry Borkwine, Patty Veerling, Nancy Gibson, who for many years served on our school board. Paula Eggleston, and Rich Torbeck, who ran Torbeck Industries. They laid the foundation upon which the current iteration of the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce was established. While their mission was specific to the downtown area, our chamber has taken that to another level. We now have a group that encompasses not over only the downtown business district, but businesses on the hill and in Indiana as well. But I want to tell you here and now, that this group and all of us in this community owe great debt of gratitude to those people with the Main Street Harrison Group who had the vision to begin looking at what we can be. Fast forward. <clears throat> the vacuum had been created. Many of us saw a need to fill that vacuum and the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce was born. Our Articles of Incorporation clearly set forth our mission. This is a nonprofit corporation formed for the purpose of facilitating cooperation among and the common interest of the various business owners in and connected to the Greater Harrison, Ohio area. The promotion of the Greater Harrison area is a de desirable place to live, to work, and to play, and the promotion of the highest business standards and better business methods by, between, and among its members. As I stand here today, this organization has clearly lived up to that purpose and filled its mission in spades. From our earliest meetings, Joe Moss, Gary Ellerhorst, Doris Gibbons, Jennifer Eakey and I worked out our bylaws, 
And contrary to what Joe and Doris have said, they carried a large part of that load. We have witnessed the fruit of that labor. Membership has grown. New leaders have emerged. And this organization has blossomed. Today, this organization boasts, according to the directory, 150 members. But what I'm hearing tonight, it's approaching closer to 200 members. Led by our executive director now, Sarah Cullen, and our board members, who have been introduced to you tonight, we have a professional, professional and well done logo behind me. We have a user friendly web page, monthly networking opportunities that are not to be missed if you can make them, an annual breakfast, which got, got waylaid by COVID, but that annual breakfast frequently featured our mayor, state representative, state senator, and our congressman who present their respective views on the state of our community, the state of our state, and the state of our nation. We regularly host education programs for our members, promote new businesses coming into our communities. We have hosted candidate debates and supported our local school levy. Some of our members served as part of the Blue Ribbon Committee that worked on and were responsible for the adoption of Harrison's comprehensive plan. We have partnered with the Southwest Local School District in the Workforce Development Task Force. In addition to all that, and the membership benefits that have been outlined above, we have provided significant value to our members and to this community. And I am here tonight to congratulate each and every one of you for a job well done and to say that the best is yet to come. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Okay, and now it's time for our awards portion of the evening, and I know many of you are eager for this. This awards program over the years has given us a reason to come together, and every time we do, it ignites new connections, ideas, and new appreciation for opportunities and people we have in the greater Harrison area. So midway through 2022, we reached out to chamber members and the business community at large for nominations, which were reviewed by the board to determine the most qualified award recipients. As you can imagine, it was often difficult to decide who should receive an award. There is a great deal of outstanding work taking place in our community. It's exciting to see the progress, hard work, and success made by businesses large and small and by the individual people here and around Harrison. The people and, organiz people and organizations we are celebrating tonight are 2022 Chamber Award recipients. Some of these businesses you may be very familiar with and others you might have heard about, but you're going to learn a little bit more about all of them this evening. So we'll begin with the Greater Harrison Rising Star of the Year Award and our 2021 recipient, Jen Kurtz from Gypsy Wagon Print Company will present this award.
Rising Star, Star Award recognizes one local young professional who has emerged as a business leader, demonstrated excellence, creativity, and innovative in their career, and has a positive impact on the workplace and community. I'm going to tell you about the 2022 Rising Star Award recipient, Haley Coomer. Is that how you say it? Yes. And then ask her to come up and accept the award. Haley earned a degree in early childhood education at the University of Cincinnati and planned to teach kindergarten. She was inspired to form Start Smart Child Care while student teaching at a preschool where she found a mentor and the director of that business. Um, after Haley and her husband Alex started their family, they purchased a child care business on Harrison Avenue in Coleraine Township. It was February 2019 it was February 2019. By January 2022, they opened their second location here in Harrison. Later last year, they also purchased a Springboro daycare where they have made extensive renovations in our building on a decades long reputation for that business. Smart Start is a thriving business that not only provides an essential service for working families, it provides jobs in three communities. These are the highlights, of course. Haley has shown there is no challenge she can't overcome and no experience that cannot be learned from. What better defines a rising star than someone who has overcome, who overcomes obstacles to continue growing and achieving? Rather, it is finding new ways to attract qualified employees going all in as a husband and wife business team or meeting new step up to quality requirements. Haley has the determination and acumen to keep rising. Congratulations, Haley Coomer, 2022 Greater Harrison Rising Star of the Year. Hi, thank you so much. It's an honor to receive this award. Um, shout out to my family that's here tonight, uh, Smart Start Child Care Educators, and um, my husband who has helped succeed our three locations. It's been so fun this past year to get to be in such a growing community with all of you. And also a um, thank you and appreciation to the Harrison um, fire department and building department for our smooth transition of building our daycare. We really appreciate you. And thank you again. Our next award is the Emerging Business Award, and Gary Ellerhorst, one of our board members, is going to come up and help present that award. Yeah, I've had, I've had what? At least 12 minutes to prepare for this. I think it's really good. So, um, real briefly, I'm going to thank Hank for his, his remarks. Um, Crown Plastics is celebrating its 50th year in business since our 45th in Harrison. And I'll tell you, ever since I've gotten involved and get to know this community, uh, it struck me what a tremendous volunteer and community spirit Harrison has always had. I lived in Green Township, but I figured my community was here. I'm in Mason now, my community is still here. Uh, Mary Lou Smith, people like that who have just, it, it's just, there's nothing they won't do. And it was very striking. And so uh, it's great to have all of you here to celebrate a lot of uh, one another, kind of as a business family, um, because this is really awesome. And uh, we appreciate you all being here and, and making this such a great event. Alrighty. Yeah. 
Not too old to learn. Hang on. The Greater Harrison Emerging Business Award is presented to a new business in operation fewer than three years that has gained an expanding positive reputation and demonstrate, uh, demonstrated excellence in management, marketing, customer service, and integrity. Before Jill comes up to accept the award, allow me to tell you about the Little Fern Shop. Jill Baker was a registered nurse before her faith and passion led her to take a leap starting her own business. Jill admired her grandmother, Fern, who operates a campground called Fern Lake in Kentucky. By opening the Little Fern Shop in 2021, Jill gave people another reason to visit Harrison's historic downtown for home decor and gifts. But that was not enough. Jill is attracting more shoppers to the district and her store by providing space for local crafters and makers to sell their goods. Vendor days have given more visibility for the shop as well. Jewelry makers, bakers, painters, and more talented local people. As you may have heard, Jill has just completely renovated the store, so make plans to stop in soon to see it. A devoted wife and mother, Jill is also a leader at her church. And remember, she is just getting started with her emerging business. Congratulations to our 2022 Emerging Business of the Year, The Little Fern Shop. Thank you so much. Um, we are, my husband and I are so honored to be here. Um, like they said, we've only been in business for about a year and a half. So the fact that we are standing here already um, receiving an Emerging Business of the Year Award tells me that our efforts have gone um, unnoticed. And so I thank the Harrison community and I thank the district for allowing us to be able to bring a beautiful decor shop to this town. So thank you so much for everything. <laughs> Okay, our next award is the Corporate Community Excellence Award, and Ray Iyer from Harrison Mattress, a previous recipient of this award, she's going to come up and present that. Public speaking is not my forte, so bear with me. Uh, this next award recognizes a business that has demonstrated an exemplary level of community engagement. Uh, this business will positively impact the, qu the quality of life in the community for its customers, employees, uh, and neighbors. Whether the business is large or small, it shows willingness to work with other Harrison businesses, enthusiasm for the community and its citizens, and works continually toward the betterment of the community. The 2022 Corporate Community Excellent Award recipi recipient is the 1860 Tap Room and Bottle Shop. Since opening in 2019, the owners of 1860 Tap Room have demonstrated an exemplary level of community engagement. 1860 has an incredible, uh, been an incredible complement to the growing number of shops, restaurants in the uh, Harrison's Historic District. It's also become a destination unto itself by hosting popular trivia events and private parties. 1860 has a great impact on the community through its community tap handle, a way for businesses to give back. Every month, an organization is selected to receive 50% of all sales for that brew on Saturdays. Since its inception, the program has generated more than 8,000 for 15 local organizations, including Harrison Police and Fire Departments, Harrison Mayor's Community Fund, Music and Youth Sports Programs, and much more. Accepting the award this evening is Jennifer Watson. Congratulations to 1860 Tap Room and Bottle Shop, the recipient of the 2022 Greater, Greater Harrison Corporate Community Excellence Award. It's a long walk. I wasn't prepared for a speech. <laughs> I want to thank the community, and we look forward to 2024 working with everybody. 
continue to say that this is a marathon, not a sprint. So we're ready to provide more for the community and look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Our next award is the Innovator Award, and Linda Gepper from Liberty Tax Service. Uh, I believe they were the 2021 recipient of the Innovator of the Year Award. She's coming up to present. Thank you, everyone. The award I am presenting recognizes success achieved through innovation and risk taking. Examples of innovation may include new products or services, unique approaches, or even implementing new policies, procedures, or facilities. Innovation is important for business, but when it comes to preparing students for the future, it's essential. The 2022 Greater Harrison Innovator of the Year is Southwest Local School District. School district leaders have been active in workforce development and created new programs to help students step into good paying jobs after high school graduation. We have even learned anecdotes about students who have secured excellent jobs waiting for them when they graduated. The school district perpetuates the State Department of Education's goal to ensure every single student is enrolled, enlisted, or employed when they graduate. Student leaders are introducing new career paths, now up to 10, including business, engineering, advanced manufacturing, entrepreneurship, and more. Even at the junior school level, students are introduced to these options. The schools have leaned into the chamber and its members for insight into how to prepare students for local jobs in terms of what skills and credentials are needed. The partnership between the school district and the business community has also benefited students by placing them in immediate part-time opportunities and provided assistance with interviewing skills. Congratulations to Southwest Local School District, the 2022 Greater Harrison Innovator of the Year. I do have a few remarks because I emailed Sarah and said, what's expected for <laughs> awards recipients? Um, but I don't think probably as many as Hank, so bear with me. Um, my name's Corinne Hayes. I'm the assistant superintendent for Southwest Local Schools. Um, and I want to say thank you to Chamber of Commerce for this tremendous honor. Um, our team has worked incredibly hard over the last several years with Chamber. Um, as well as our fellow members of the Harrison Workforce Development Committee. Um, and our goal is to ensure that we're meeting the needs of local industry, but also preparing our students for a future where their jobs may not even be created yet. Like this little guy right here, perhaps. <clears throat> That's um, it's a pretty challenging task to create curriculum for things that you don't even know uh, what will exist yet. Um, my background, I'm a French teacher, took even somebody in this room to France um, with me. And <laughs> um, I taught in the district for 16 years before becoming assistant principal at the high school. And now this is my seventh or eighth year, they're all running together um, as assistant superintendent and curriculum director for the district. Through my career, I've learned that it is so important for us as the district to help strengthen our community and to keep our young talent local. We're so thankful for the partnerships that have helped us to develop our career pathways programming and placing our students in work-based learning, um, opportunities in internships, pre-apprenticeships, et cetera. So I thank all of you in this room for your support of our programs. Okay, we have two more awards. Our next presenter is John Calabrese, Associate Pastor for Life Spring Community Church. He's going to present the Greater Harrison Chamber Nonprofit of the Year Award. Thank you, Doris. 
Thank you, Doris. I almost thought I'm going to struggle because I can't, didn't read my cheaters. You did well. Looks like 14 font. <laughs> I'm close. Uh, the Greater Harrison Chamber. First, thank you, Sarah. Sarah is a spark in this community, and I don't know if you get enough um, accolades for that. You. What you bring to this community and the, the chamber is something that I have not seen in other communities that I've lived in before, and I think you're a big piece of that. So thank you for all that you do. You're a big spark. <laughs> So the Greater Chamber, uh, Harrison Nonprofit Organization of the Year, is reserved for an outstanding member of Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce. The award goes to an organization that has made a remarkable difference in serving people or causes that matter in our community. The 2022 Greater Harrison Chamber Nonprofit Organization of the Year is the Reach Out Pregnant Center. Since it opened in 1993, Reach Out has expanded services to include prenatal and parenting classes, pregnancy tests, ultrasounds, professional referrals, and maternal support. In 2022, Reach Out launched Dads for Life, a program that helps new and expecting fathers to be the best they can be. This has proven to be a success and makes a difference in the life of the father, but the children they help raise. Beyond the curriculum called Practical Fatherhood, the REACH team has helped connect dads to jobs, housing, and professional assistance. Faith-based programs like these for moms and dads help REACH out fulfill a mission of saving children and helping families thrive. To provide an idea of the impact they make, REACH out has served more than 60 clients in 2021, and then those lives touch will perpetrate through generations to come. So thank you, REACH out Pregnant Center, for your work in this community and congratulations for being the 2022 Greater Harrison Chamber Nonprofit of the Year. So thank you very much. This is a wonderful honor for us, and I'm so excited that John got to present the award because LifeSpring um, is where we live now, or the old LifeSpring building, and they have been the most wonderful partners, as have so many of you in this room. I'm so excited to be able to look out and say, oh my gosh, I know this person, I know this person, and we work with them, and um, that's incredible. And um, you know, I've seen a lot of growth in that area in the last few years. But this is especially exciting for us because this is our 30th anniversary. We're not quite at 45 years like Crown Plastics, but 30 years in the Harrison community. And it was thanks to four or five couples, Jamie, where's Jamie at? Because Jamie knows the story. Um, four or five couples, there she is in the back, from St. John's Church that um, decided we, the community needed to do something. And so we've been trying to do something to help uh, expectant moms, new moms, families um, ever since then. I'm also very excited. We have four of our board members. We have an incredibly active board, um, just wonderful people in the community. And then we also have, I think, four of our staff members are here, and even our volunteers are here. So um, just a great group of people that um, make all that we do possible, and all the volunteers as well who work with our clients. Um, I want to tell you one exciting thing that's happening this year. There's lots of exciting things, but the first thing that's happening March 7th, so very soon, is that we have partnered with the Eve Center, um, and they are going to come live with us. They're going to use our building on Tuesdays and use our space, and they, if you don't know what the Eve Center is, please Google them, but I will tell you briefly. It is a peer counseling ministry for women um, to help them live through trauma. So it's everything from a background that might involve child abuse or domestic violence, um, abortion, rape, all sorts of different things. And I will tell you that a very large percentage of our clients have suffered through that. And so to have this available right in our building and accessible to our clients, but also to the community. Anybody can come. It doesn't have to be someone who's pregnant or um, a family that has small children. Um, any woman who's in crisis or in need can come and be helped by the Eve Center. So we're very excited. Um, so you may have to help me out. The open house for the community is April 10th. So we would love for you to come. Uh, One o'clock we start with the open house, but we'd love for you to come and 
and see Reach Out and also see Eve Center and get to know that wonderful ministry as well. But thank you so much. Um, we just really appreciate this. Okay, last but not least, as they say, uh, Doris Gibbons. She is our, um, she's going to present the next award. <laughs> Doris Gibbons. <laughs> Gibbons Insurance Agency was our business of the year last year. Thank you, Sarah. Ooh, this is nice. Hello. The Greater Harrison Business of the Year Award is one of the Chamber's original awards that we have been presenting for 10 years. The award is reserved for a member of the Chamber and it celebrates a local business in the, Harris, in the Harrison that has made significant contributions to the overall good of the community. The 2022 Greater Harrison Chamber Business of the Year Award is presented to Bradder Winter Funeral Home. When it comes to celebrating an entire lifetime, nobody does it better than Bradder Winter has two locations, am I saying that right? I know, I knew as soon as I said it, sorry about that. Has two locations in Harrison and Sailor Park and provides full and part-time jobs to eight people. Since 1945, yell it, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Was waiting guys. Has been earning trust and recommendations from local families. Compassion, trust, and understanding and professionalism are just some of the world's words customers use to describe the team. Led by owner Jolene Winter, she is a familiar face at community events and in times of need. You might recognize her from Kiwanis Fish Fries or working concessions at football games to help them music boosters. Her business is often counted on to contribute to local organizations with time and financial support. At Christmas, I mean, you don't say it, yeah. Well, come on, guys, let's make it fun. Donates gifts to area senior centers for the holiday parties. During COVID, the... Woohoo! There you go. Team passed out poncettas and gift cards and had a drive through Christmas with Santa, Mrs. Claus, and funny holiday costumes. It put many smiles on people's faces. Woohoo! Is also a contributor to many school and church activities and causes. We're proud to have. Yes. As a chamber member and recognize them as the 2022 Greater Harrison Business of the Year. Woohoo! They'll never forget. <laughs> I'm just glad she didn't put the S on winters. It's not winter. We, it's, it's only winter. It's not winters because we could not afford the S. <laughs> so I am truly humbled by this, but ultimately it wouldn't be for all the families that we serve over the last, well, since 1945. Obviously, I've not been in the business that long, <laughs> but, but um, it started, the funeral home was started by Mr. Lutz, then John Breeder brought the business, and then I purchased the business from John in 2011, and I think there was one time some guy comes in, he's like, some young girl's here taking over the funeral business, and this is, you know, this is a man's job, and I was like, well, you got me. <laughs> You know, I mean, and it's, and it's in, in many families that I've served in this community, um, it's just it's just different, you know? They come in and they think that this is going to be this old stodgy guy, Jack. <laughs> Sorry. But, you know, behind every person and behind every business, whether it's small or whether it's big, the big companies started small at some point in time. JTM, you know, you guys were small business. You, as a small business owner, were, when you were starting off, it's scary. And so having a chamber support you is great. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on Sarah. Sarah just got put into this position, but she is awesome. She has done so much to this chamber for businesses. I mean, I've been telling her that all the time because I'm like, I'm lacking. Thanks for picking up because she does so much. But behind every business, you've got a staff. And my staff is over here. I'm going to just point out one individual. He's nine centuries old. Oh. <laughs> Jim Dole. Jim has been working for the funeral home for I don't know how many years. But he started with, with 
Yeah, I mean, 40 or better. He started helping John Brader after he retired, and he's been a staple. He's done a ton of veteran services as well. Um, we've got Rick Dole as well. Rick is not the, so it actually goes, Jim is being the, lo the longest, Jack is the next. Jack, stand up. Jack's our, <laughs> Jack's our Jack in the box. Um, and then Rick, Rick started after Jack, but, and then we have Butch, and Butch drives hers for me, as long as he doesn't scratch it up, which is, <laughs> it's always a big thing. Um, Beth Veal, um, Beth, I could not do my job without Beth. She does all the paperwork. And, and any of you guys that think that funeral directors is just meeting with a family, there's so much paperwork to do behind the scenes, you don't understand it. Plus the state regulations and all that other stuff. You guys get it, but um, David Nash, he's my part-time guy. And then my least paid employee that goes out in the middle of the night with me and washes my cars, yells at me when somebody nicks the cars, and pretty much does everything, is my husband, Bob. Um, he truly, I couldn't do it without him, with being a mom of two girls and everything, so truly I could not do it without him. So thank you all, I appreciate it, but I wanted to give them the acclamation that they need because they truly do so much for me. So thank you. Okay, I'm going to ask um, our award recipients to all come forward together at this time. Uh, to conclude, State Representative Cindy Abrams, she's going to come up and present a commendation to all of our honorees. Mark, would you like to come up? Happy to uh, happy to be home. Quite frankly, uh, it's a long week in Columbus. We're working on the operating budget and the um, transportation budget. So again, happy to be home. And I was texting Sarah, like, okay, so I finally left the office. And then of course there's a snafu on the on the highway. And no, I wasn't texting and driving. I was using Bluetooth because I can't be a hypocrite of the distracted driving law that I authored. Woo! And the governor finally signed it. Uh, this year. So anyway, all right. Again, happy to be here. So I'm going to just kind of speak to the whole group. Um, these are, everyone's getting a commendation from the Ohio House of Representatives signed by the speaker and myself. And um, each one is of course special. And I will say that um, we are grateful that you chose Ohio. And I know everyone's been around a while. Obviously the school district does fantastic work obviously with our youth. So um, again, just keeping it brief, because obviously everyone probably was ready to go home, but truly grateful that you chose Harrison and Ohio, so we're grateful. All right, so here we go, Southwest Local. Again, God bless you, what you do. <laughs> so that's right. And yes, we are continuing to work and um, be a partner with, I'm a partner with all of my school districts, but again, being home here, and we are having constant conversation about what we the state can do a little better because clearly we are not perfect, right? No. Uh, smart start child care. Now listen. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sidetrack. Again, I took a tour of their uh, facility when they did their ribbon cutting and again, very unique and something that is much needed here in Harrison. Brader Winter. Jolene, uh, obviously, uh, is a personal friend of mine and truly uh, took great care of us in our time of need uh, when my mother and father-in-law passed away about a year apart. So, uh, 1860. Everyone knows I love craft beer, so. <laughs> You're welcome. That's right. And Little Fern Shop. I also love shopping, which is also good. There we go. And Reach Out Pregnancy Center, again, um, near and dear to my heart, an issue that is very, very important to me. So, life. And Mark, where's Mark? 
This says, congrats on your new role. <laughs> Hooray, we celebrate that too. We celebrate a lot. And Sarah, again, what everyone else said, you are certainly amazing and do a lot, obviously, not just for the chamber, but of course the city of Harrison and everything else you're involved in. So congrats, thank you for having me, and sorry I was late. So. <laughs> I want to thank everyone who took the time to tell us about outstanding, tonight's Outstanding Award honorees. Those stories were inspiring and they were certainly all worth celebrating. So I invite you to, to continue celebrating with us throughout the year. As um, others before me have reiterated tonight, it's important that we come together as a business community and connect over topics that impact us all. The Chamber makes this possible. So feel free to reach out to me or some of the other chamber leaders who we introduced this evening. And if you'd like to get to know us better, subscribe to our newsletter at greaterharrisoncc.com. And you can also connect with us via social media. So we look forward to learning more about you too. Thank you and best wishes to everyone for a prosperous year ahead. Thank you. Thank you.